Pentagon X-Files Chief Explains Why Aliens Have Visited Earth After Leading Secret UFO Hunting Project Luis Elizondo said, My personal belief is that there is very compelling evidence that we may not be alone. A Pentagon official who ran a £16 million program which investigated the existence of UFOs and aliens says he believes travelers from outer space have already visited Earth. Luis Elizondo oversaw the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, which ran for five years between 2007 and 2012. Luis Elizondo oversaw the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program. He told CNN, My personal belief is that there is very compelling evidence that we may not be alone. These aircraft, we'll call them aircraft, are displaying characteristics that are not currently within the U.S. inventory nor in any foreign inventory that we are aware of. Things that don't have any obvious flight services, any obvious forms of propulsion, and maneuvering in ways that include extreme maneuverability beyond, I would submit, the healthy G-forces of a human or anything biological. Officials in the U.S. Defense Department this week acknowledged for the first time that they ran the program. Parts of their shadowy work, which is still continuing to this day, are classified. But the Pentagon confirmed that audio and video of two U.S. Navy pilots chasing an unidentified flying object near San Diego was investigated as part of the program. The footage, released in August, showed that the UFO rotated and maintained a glowing aura. The Advanced Aerospace Project was set up at the behest of now-retired U.S. Democratic Senator Harry Reid. Most of the money for the program went to an aerospace research company run by billionaire entrepreneur Robert Bigelow, who is currently working with NASA. The program produced documents that described sightings of aircraft that seemed to move at very high velocities. It also reported on aircraft with no visible signs of propulsion, or ones that hovered with no apparent means of lift. That included the footage of the fighter jet chase, when the pilots followed the UFO from the aircraft carrier Nimitz off the coast of San Diego in 2004. Another incident involved a Navy Super Hornet jet following a UFO that emitted a glowing aura traveling at high speed and rotating as it moves. In audio and video, the pilot is heard to exclaim, there's a whole fleet of them. Mr. Reed confirmed he set up the program, adding, I'm not embarrassed or ashamed or sorry I got this thing going. I think it's one of the good things I did in my congressional service. I've done something that no one has done before. Pentagon officials acknowledged the existence of the program yesterday, which began as part of the Defense Intelligence Agency. Officials insisted that the effort had ended after five years in 2012. A spokesman said, it was determined that there were other, higher priority issues that merited funding, and it was in the best interest of the Department of Defense to make a change. But Mr. Elizondo confirmed that he continued to work with officials from the Navy and the CIA on the program until he resigned from office in October. He quit in protest over excessive secrecy and lack of resources for the program.